Durham Body Company of Philadelphia was a custom coachbuilding company founded by Irish wheelwright Joseph Durham 1865 to 1928 in 1887 to make carriages. As automobiles became more popular their clientele asked Durham to provide bodies for their cars. It was claimed only New York's Brewster had a similar reputation. Following World War II, Durham's business steadily declined. Most competitors had already been destroyed by the Great Depression. After the retirement of the last of the founders' sons in 1971, the entire premises were used as a Ferrari dealership. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Carriages. Durham's Landors, Victorias, Meadowbrooks, Featons and Brockhams were much in demand by Philadelphia's elite. Their requirements changed to automobile bodies. Automobile bodies To cope with the increased activity Durham required larger premises so a purpose-built plant was erected in Rosemont, Pennsylvania where many of their customers lived. Topic. Custom bodies Durham always made one-off custom bodies but they were financially stabilized by taking on regular series production work. Semi-custom bodies From early on dealers would order more than one body of a particular design and this cost-saving practice grew to become short production runs of perhaps 20 or more identical automobiles. Cars made before the 1930s were mostly formal and intended to be chauffeur-driven but by the end of the 1920s Durham was making attractive convertibles and they became the bulk of production. Durham developed their own distinctive automobile body style. Most of their bodies were built in series on Packards and Hudsons, but they continued to build one off cars on any chassis their customer required. During the 1930s, Durham survived by building some bodies on Ford V8s and by taking on a Plymouth, DeSoto dealership. Once war began, they moved to building mobile canteens for Philadelphia's shipyards. Aircraft components were added to their production's line. To combat cost increases Durham took to amending standard sedan bodies making them into limousines and also changing appearance by fixing soft padding over the standard sedan's top. Most of the standard structure remained intact. This allowed Durham to survive into the post-war period. Business Week wrote about Durham body in their April 22, 1950 issue. Durham reprinted it listing some current and former clients. Raymond Lowy, Pope Pius XII, Cardinal Spellman, Duke of Windsor, Harry Truman, Cole Porter, Gary Cooper, Louis B. Mayer, James Forrestal, Herbert Pulitzer, Lily Pons, Leopold Stokowski, Bernard Baruch, Rodman Wanamaker, and Marjorie Merriweather Post Davies. During 1956, Durham built a prototype Lincoln Continental Mark II convertible, but Ford's project did not result in any more cars. Garthwaite <laughs> The Durham business and its building were sold to Al Garthwaite in 1964 when business had been reduced to armoring Cadillac and Lincoln limousines and restoration of classic cars. <laughs> <laughs> Floyd Durham Disagreements after the founder's death led to one of his sons going out on his own with William Floyd, a European car importer. Floyd Durham exhibited for the first time in the fall of 1928. The onset of the Depression led Floyd to pull out of the partnership and Philip Durham began to work for Duesenberg. The Durham archives are kept by the Classic Car Club of America. 